Hey folks, this is Red Falcon, and in this video we're going to show you my first Burning Crusade character, and also my first level 60 character, Kylar. Kylar is a level 62 warlock. And this is ENR. I have many good memories on ENR. And this is actually the first server I had played on way back when I first played WoW in 2005, summer of 2005. Um, this is not the original Brosh. The original Brosh was a dwarf hunter, but um, I was very loyal to the Horde, so I deleted all of my Alliance characters on this realm, and I made Brosh a, uh, a, a, uh, a rogue. I'd always wanted to play a rogue, but I could... Oh, wait, can you adjust there? Hey, you can adjust their positions now. How about that? I didn't have to do that. <laughs> anyway, so let's, uh, let's load up Kylar here and see what's to see what's available. Now, Kylar, he was my first caster. My talents have been reset. Ooh, what's this? Spiny lizard. Oh, it's not mine. Mechanical chicken has been added to your pet journal. Baby blizzard bear. Mr. Chili. Core hound. Anyway. Oh, cool. I'm uh, I'm in Ogremar right now. Okay, cool. Okay. See, this is Kylar. He's my warlock. I remember playing him... What was it? He was... I must have played him in 2006. It was actually my freshman year of college. That's when I started this guy. And I don't know how I passed my first year of college. Alright, now. This is a this is a, um, a topic of much, uh, I guess, lively debate between myself and my roommate. Um, she also played a warlock. Now, this is the Dreadsteed. Back in classic WoW, vanilla WoW, the Dreadsteed required you to go on a quest to get components to summon this thing, and then you had to go into a dungeon, so you need to get you need a group, and then you had to, uh, um, you know, of course, fight it, defeat it, and then you get. And then after doing all that, you earned the Dreadsteed. And the cost for the components uh, was a little bit less, depending on the market, than actually buying a mount. So, but you had to go through a lot. A lot of warlocks opted to get the uh, just buy a regular mount instead of you know going for uh, a dreadsteed. Now, my roommate, she had actually completed the quest and went through all that, all the hoops and jumps to get her dreadsteed. And then they changed it, and they made the the um, requirements for the quest about half as much, uh, the components uh, about half as much as you needed. So she was kind of mad about that. And then when I came in, I still had to do the quest, and I still had to get the components. But it, for me, it would cost me about half as much as her. So she wasn't too happy about that. But now, oh god, now it's just a spell you buy at level 60, or maybe it's even level 40. I, I don't even know when you guys get your epic mounts now. Can someone in the comments below tell me when you're supposed to get epic mounts now in WoW? Because I have no idea. Because I'm used to it being 40, you got your regular mount, and then 60, you got your um, your epic mount. Now, what is it? You get, like... Why is there water here? It's not supposed to be water here. Oh, God. What's happened to the... Ah. I don't like these changes at all. I don't like things that are different. But anyway... Um, oh, now does this guy have it? Oh, he doesn't have it. Ah, uh, I'm trying because um, I actually did PvP with this guy for a while, and I still had what I remember. I had this guy right when they made the change to the PvP system, and they let me keep my uh, my PvP title as a as a um, as a title that I could have over my head, but. I don't see that anywhere. But yeah, um, I was a scout, which was the lowest level, but still, the fact that I had that was really neat. And I disconnected from the server. Hold on a minute. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let's see, so where was I? I forgot where I was, so... Um, 
Oh yeah, PvP. Right. Okay. So, um, yeah, PvP. I did it for a while in this character. I primarily focused on um, PVE for the most part. Um, I was actually in a really cool um, raiding guild, Nightmare Crusaders. Great group of people. Um, my roommate and I were in it. Well, she wasn't my roommate at the time, but um, my now roommate and I were both in this server. Okay, well, um, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so what was I talking about? I have a sense of deja vu here. Um, right. Oh, oh, check this out. Hey, it's a soul pouch. You don't see those anymore. You know why? They got rid of that mechanic. Which, you know, now warlocks don't have anything to complain about. Oh, I take that back. They always have something to complain about. Every, every class has something to complain about. But anyway, uh, yeah, so my router is being stupid today, and it keeps dropping on and off. Uh, I'd love to get a new router, but I'm broke. So that actually leads me to an interesting question. If I were to make a, a tip, um, like a PayPal tip account, would you guys actually contribute to it? Let me know in the comments below. Because this is really annoying. Okay, we're actually now in the Barrens. How about that? Okay. And I completely forgot what I was talking about, so... Oh, yeah, right, the uh, the PayPal thing, right. Yeah, would you guys actually contribute to that? Because right now I, I, don't, I don't really make any money off this stuff, and uh, my equipment's pretty bad. But... Anyway, let me know. I know the economy stuff and everything, so, but I'll only put one up if you guys request it. So, hey, if you want to, want me to set up a PayPal tip jar, let me know. Anyway, um, oh yeah, did I, I forgot to do this. I forgot to do this on my other character too, or on Brylus. But Brylus should have a similar time to Alar as far as like time played. Oh, and I'm hitting a lag spike. Oh. Oh, it's interesting. Usually it's the other way around. Ah, come on. <laughs> oh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And wow, that was pretty bad. Okay, so let's see. Total time play. 12 days, 20 hours, 19 minutes. Play time on this level, 5 hours, 24 minutes. Okay, so I remember um, Burning Crusade came out January 2007. And I remember December of 2006, I basically rushed to level 60. I think I hit level 60 like January 1st or something, January 2nd or so. And, you know, I went through all that to get to level 60. And then BC came out. I was really excited. Um, bought Burning Crusade and played it. And I think I didn't even make it out of the first zone. I just got burned out and I quit. I might have played a, a Blood Elf, but I don't remember. So, yeah, that was my little adventure into uh, um, Burning Crusade. As you can see, I have equipment from Burning Crusade. See, it looks like a rainbow threw up on me. Actually, what, what's this guy even have on him? I, I don't even know. I got a lot of greens. My equipment really sucks. Champion's Dreadweave Shoulders. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was... Um, I think that's PvP gear. I, I've, It's been so long since I've played this. Oh, cool. Yeah, Tabard of the Protector. That was for the... Um, that was for the uh, Burning Crusade uh, event to at the portal. The Dark Portal. The opening of the Dark Portal. Uh, you basically had to go there and like do a quest or two, and you got this tavern, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I actually have some Dreadmist equipment. Interesting. Dreadmist belt. A lot of greens. Well, okay, you got to understand, um, at the time, um, when you... Uh, when you got into Burning Crusade, a lot of people's epic gear were being replaced by blues. I mean, by greens. Well, okay, I don't want to say epic gear, but, you know, like, high-end blues, stuff like that were being replaced with greens because all the all the, the low-level equipment in Burning Crusade was so much more powerful than some of the higher-end stuff 
in uh, Vanilla WoW, so there was, you know, there was this huge power creep that people had to overcome. But, uh, Will of the Forsaken. This was actually the reason I played Undead. Was Will of the Forsaken, at the time, we, we were the only race that had this, and it basically gave you, uh, a free mark of the horde, basically. It removes, uh, charm, fear, and sleep effects. Um... And wow, this has a 30 second cooldown now. Interesting. And also, cannibalize, which is a lot of fun. You get to eat your enemies. I used to do that. Oh, I've been disconnected from battle.net. That's not a good sign. Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to be disconnected really shortly. So, what, what else is there to tell you about this guy? Not a whole lot. Um, I leveled him, actually leveled him in the Barrens right here. Um... When I got out of um, the undead starting zone. He was my first undead character. Um, my first warlock. My first caster character. Caster type character. At least the only one that's worth mentioning anyway. Um, what else? Not really a whole lot else I can tell you about this guy. So... Um, I think I'm going to end the video here, unless... Okay. Yeah, it looks like the, the latency's fixed itself a little bit. Anyway. Okay, yeah, yeah this, this isn't going to work. <laughs> My god, look at this. This is so bad. The lag, like nothing, nothing's, nothing's responding. It's... Uh, but it still says I have decent latency. I, I don't understand. Now it's... Now my network... Hold on a second. I gotta fix this. Okay, I'm back. And this is where the server last saw me. <laughs> so I actually walked all the way over there while uh, the game client was... Uh, was uh, disconnected. Ah, <laughs> oh, the miracle of technology. Alright, so anyway. Um, ah, yes. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the video here. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below. And um, like this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you for watching. Oh, and uh, in my next video, I'm going to show you my highest level character and the most recent one that I played. Gee, thanks. I'm sorry, Kylar. You're not my favorite anymore. But it does have the best dance. Anyway, thank you for watching.